very excited about our initiative around advancing women in leadership. We are also focusing on advancing women in tech leadership. We conducted a workshop where we, uh, we really brought everyone in the room together to drill down and to be hands-on in, in talking about the tough issues and then talking around strategies to implement. We had an incredible workshop. They, we were crowdsourcing wisdom from over 100 women and they had incredible ideas about engaging men to advance women in tech and about making it a level playing field for everybody. Just a lot of really practical ideas about changing HR processes, changing the way we hire people, changing the branding. Uh, just really practical ideas that will make a difference. It wasn't about bashing the other gender. It was about really how do we together take forward the entire issue of women in leadership, women in the workforce. In order to equip women to advance in technology, we really need to help them understand their own strengths. I've seen a lot of challenges, I've been part of it, but I also know that there are solutions in play. And so what I see Bonnie and Brandon Hall Group doing is really taking positive action. There are a lot of hurdles for advancing women in leadership, and believe it or not, I think one of the biggest hurdles are women themselves. As soon as we are more aware of that, I think then the better off we'll be about knowing that I have a part in this too. There are still today very um, serious concerns that we have as women about not being at the table, and I think Conversely, a lot of men are concerned that if women are brought to the table, that there'll be less seats at the table for men. That's not true. What, what it is is, you know, we need to collectively have more tables. If women are left out of technology, they're left out of the whole conversation. So if we don't make sure that, that we're included and if we aren't lifting other women up, then uh, we will not be helping to shape our world and that's going to leave uh, half the population behind and that's going to have disastrous consequences. It's critical in terms of ensuring we have a more inclusive and more fair world, but also um, we have better products and products that serve more people. What we see in our research is that organizations that are good at this, at creating opportunities for women to thrive in leadership and technology, is senior level commitment. And when they make it clear that this is a business issue, we need to tap into all kinds of talent, then they create an environment and a context where that's true. If there isn't that clear, actionable commitment from the senior level leadership, then people do whatever they want to do. And you see unconscious bias show up, you see different things happen that can make it harder for women to succeed. So that commitment from senior leadership is key.